So it's the beginning of day four. Um, today is a very big day. We're expecting a visit from Historic England and also Paul Blinkhorn, woo, is arriving to do his pottery masterclass and spend some time with the team. Also happening this morning is a, an introduction to planning, recording, and surveying with our community archaeologist, Nige, who's over there somewhere. And as you can see, I am a kissed burial. <laughs> and uh, all the vegers are learning how to plan me in and saying awfully rude things about needing to change the scale <laughs> on the boards. But, you know, it's nice and restful here. Weather's good. I'm looking forward to a great day. Twenty by meter twenty. Can you imagine the wastage if you are planning that on a piece of furniture? Where's Raksha? Okay, so here we are uh, in trenches uh, nineteen and sixteen. Uh, we're just here at the moment cleaning up the, uh, the this trench uh, with the uh, furrow marks and we're uh, finding some uh, nice bits and pieces, some pottery and, and some bits of flint and we're hoping to get some more information on the bits of pot later today when Paul Blinkhorn arrives. to the TBM which was 15.02 and that will give a measurement of 16.04 and that's the instrument height so that gives us a number for the instrument above the Ordnung datum point so let's say we've got in this trench and the foresight is 3.02 So here we are at the fines area in the freshly thatched barn. Uh, I just got over the last three days a system set up to organise when the fines come in, how they get washed, where they get dropped off, what happens afterwards. Uh, they're outside at the moment drying, most of them. It's not really that much to show at this stage, but hopefully we find some more interesting things. So if you want to check back in a couple of days time, or when Paul Blinkhorn is here to have a look at the pottery, that would be really great. I'm Anna. I'm back for my third season at the Lace and Abbey Dig uh, with Dig Ventures. Um, when I first came two years ago, I stayed for one week and actually added on a day because I enjoyed myself so much. Um, I enjoyed the way everyone sort of brought in all of these newcomers, taught us sort of the minimum that we needed to get into the trenches, and then just dropped us in and basically said we have confidence in you go do it and whenever we were doing something that was maybe not what we were supposed to be doing or had a question um, the the answers were there and nobody sort of looked at us like what you don't know this yet yeah. I mean you know three days in a trench the first time ever um, so that was really fantastic um, and again it's it's nice to come back it was great you know to, to see everybody who has come back for the full the full time or three years or even people who've you know missed a year here and there um, and that's what's really great about this dig is that you sort of fall in and out of these relationships and connections um, and even your own education and are given the chance to um, just pick up where you left off and keep on going so here we are at the end of day four in the broadband trench. Actually, no, it's the gatehouse trench. So we're going to be digging this to see um, why this bend in the road comes through. And um, over to you, Lisa. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> yeah, pleased yeah, yeah, that yeah. we finally got some archaeology weather because I was getting dead tired of the damp. Trust me. The, I mean, the sun's come out to play and everything. The it's coolest fantastic. thing is we had the most awesome training session this morning 
and then uh, Nige took everyone back out to the trenches and they got to put it all into practice and now they feel like experts and that's really cool. Absolutely, so that's bringing those trenches yeah. to a point now, we've got those recorded and we can start to mat it down mm. and get into those archaeological layers. Mm. Hey Rita, huh? have you seen Raksha? Nope. I thought I saw her Is that her? Wait, is that her? I think it is. Let's, I think that might be go. her. Yeah, let's go. 